Well, the Nebraska football team wrapped up practice number 17 here on Wednesday. Hi, Sean Callahan for HuskerOnline.com. And we talked to all the offensive coaches and players here following Wednesday's practice. And obviously the conversation still is around the quarterback competition. Uh, we're still going right now, Tristan and, and Adrian. Uh, we'll have probably a situational scrimmage tomorrow and uh, put them in situations and, and just see uh, which one uh, handles it the best and which one gives us the best opportunity to win. But uh, I think we have a good problem. We feel confident in both of those guys that if their number's called, they can go out there and, and execute the offense and, and, and win the game for us. And so uh, that's a good problem to have, but uh, there has been no – no concrete decision as of today. As far as the overall timeline, Nebraska is expected to begin Akron preparation uh, later this week on Thursday or Friday. But as far as naming a starter by then, that's still up in the air. Once again, whoever gives us the best chance to, to win and, uh, you know, who's taking leadership and who can uh, run the offense and, and, and make plays not only with their legs, but with their, uh, their, their arm and also protect the football. And so all those things. Uh, we'll take into account and, and we'll sit down as a staff. It's not going to be one guy deciding. We'll decide as a staff which one gives us the best chance. And, and really, the other guy has to be ready. Uh, so whoever we go with, the other guy's got to be ready because, you know, as you know, football, there's going to be injuries. There's going to, things are going to happen, happen. And so everybody's got to be ready to go. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure Frosty at, at some particular point in time will, will let us know what, what the decision's going to be. Um, whether it happens before or after that prep, I, I, I don't know. However, if there is one thing that certain quarterbacks coach Mario Verduzco feels like his guys are ready. They've demonstrated to me that their ability to handle the volume they've been able to handle and the volume that Coach Frost is going to want them to handle uh, from game to game, I, I feel really comfortable with that. Is he going to be mindful of that? Uh, absolutely in the sense of will it be as big if they are seniors? No, but I think he's going to feel comfortable doing the things that he wants to do to make sure we can attack the defense. That we're so if you play Akron tomorrow, you think you guys would be ready to roll right, right out there? I, I feel really comfortable with that. It, if you're talking about the quarterback position, mm -hmm. in terms of what they know, how they operate, do they know the reads and the keys? Could they draw uh, for you every pass pattern in our pass offense? Could they draw you all the fronts and the keys and reads for our guys? Absolutely. They can do all that stuff and can they take it to the field? Absolutely. And as for the guys blocking for that quarterback, we did catch up with offensive line coach Greg Austin. We learned uh, from him on Wednesday that junior offensive lineman Jalen Barnett has taken a medical scholarship. He'll no longer be with the program here uh, this season. But as far as his group overall, Austin's very confident in how they've come together. I know for the O-line, at least speaking on our behalf, we're not just teammates. We're brothers. So I understand if, if this isn't for him uh, and this wasn't the path that you know he, he saw a fit for himself, I understand uh, packing it up and uh, being able to, to pursue other things. Uh, it doesn't mean that you know when I see him, uh, out on campus, I'm not going to say hi or anything crazy like that. Uh, it's just not being able to have him, uh, you know, on the day-to-day -day, uh, grind that we're on. It's going to be uh, a little hard just not seeing his face anymore. This progressing. You know, it's progressing. We're still working on it. You know, Christian B. Lord and that's it to me. Those guys are, are, are working their butts off um, to be better protectors. And um, they're, in, they're in the film room. Uh, they're studying. They're studying uh, their technique. Uh, and, and wanting to get better than putting in after after hours work, what I, call, what I like to call after school work, right? Uh, after practice, uh, to just work on their set lines, work on their hands, work on their eyes, uh, and, and establish that leverage on the defender that they need. And one of the guys on the line who's continued to take big steps forward in the last several months has been left tackle, Brandon Hymas, who's now up to 292 pounds. A year ago, he played at 275. Uh, I'm just, you know, expecting more out of myself this year you know I'm not that that's that small little freshman anymore you know I'm past that I, I have game experience so uh, there should be no excuses this year another big element to this offense for Nebraska is the operating pace and that's something a lot of guys talked about here uh, as far as how fast they can really get things going on Wednesday you know I, I think it's a huge confidence boost you know just going out there and knowing you know we can we can dictate the tempo especially on offense and you know I think our defense is going to be be phenomenal just you know especially you know going against us 
and then you know going up against a team against Wisconsin where they huddle all the time. So you know I think they'll be in great shape, and you know by the time the fourth quarter comes, I don't I don't see them being too tired. So you know I'm really excited to see how that plays out, especially out on the defensive side of the ball. Oh yeah, big time. I think uh, you know it's not where we need to be, but it's gotten better and. Um, I think we're, when we get it to where it needs to be, then we'll be pretty good. You know, I really can't keep it on like a, a scale. I would say uh, our defense, We've when we are at our best, we can catch our defense standing up. At least four of the guys will be standing up not knowing what they're doing. So if we're able to get that push and um, look to the sideline before we uh, you know get down and uh, really communicate well and do pre-calls and things like that so that when we line up, uh, we can be ready before you know they actually get in their alignment. I think that's when we're going to be at our best. And uh, when we do show it, uh, when it happens, I feel like we are uh, we're, we're pretty much unstoppable out there. Uh, the defense, uh, credit to them, they're they're playing you know at a high level right now. Uh, but when I when I feel like we're all rolling on offense. Um, we really can show out. We really can make big plays and uh, run the ball well on it. Honestly, very quick. You know, we we, we are moving faster, uh, communicating better. So it's just, it's just better across the board for everybody. And finally, the running back position continues to be one of the bigger battles here in practice for Nebraska. And it looks like it's leaning towards a running back by committee. And one of those guys that figures to factor in that potential committee is freshman Maurice Washington. Yeah, he has, you know, uh, but I'm on him every day about learning how to be a collegiate athlete, student athlete. He's got to know that he's got to get up and go to treatments. He's got to go eat. He's got to go practice. Then he's got to go to class. All these things that I'm on him constantly uh, because it's not just, you know, we're just playing football. So he has to learn how to time manage. He knows that. Um, so we're working with him, just like all our guys. But the other guys are older. They kind of have a grasp of it. Him and Miles are really my only new guys-ish in the room. And so, um, but I like where he's at, but I'm not satisfied where he's at. He's got a lot lot more work to do. Um, but I'm on him every day, and I'm not going to settle anything but, but, but a championship-level student athlete. As for last year's running back starter early on in the year, Trey Bryant, he continues to battle some bumps and bruises. You know, Trey, uh, you know, he kind of tweaked his ankle uh, about a week ago. He's building himself back up. Today was a low rep count day for him. Uh, he'll ramp it back up tomorrow. I thought he did some good things yesterday in short yardage. You know, he's a guy that can hit it downhill. Um, he's getting better. You know, he's got a week to kind of see where he's at, and, and we'll go from there. But, I mean, he's engaged, knows what he's doing. Again, we're just being smart with the pitch count. The, the, the ankle kind of, not his knees, his ankle kind of tweaked, which set him back a little bit. But I think that's getting better. He's getting a lot of treatment, so we'll see how uh, you know how that works out with him. Huskers will get back to work here on Thursday for fall camp practice number 18. With the Huskers in Lincoln, I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com.